a quick drive away from its picturesque downtown. Behind this high-walled warehouse, Namibia's sleepy capital holds a secret. When did the North Koreans leave? Maybe, let me say, maybe two weeks or three weeks. Two weeks ago they left. Yeah. And who was operating there, the North Koreans? Yes. Just weeks ago, say eyewitnesses, North Koreans living and working in the sprawling compound, in clear violation of UN sanctions. They grew their own food, moved in and out with trucks. Then they vanished. But the building's title deed still shows it's a headquarters of North Korean state company Mansude. CNN's multiple attempts to reach Mansude and North Korean authorities were unsuccessful. As sanctions have squeezed, the North Korean regime searched globally for foreign cash to fund its illicit nuclear and missile program. And across Africa, they found willing partners in historic allies. In Namibia's capital alone, the National Museum and statue of founding president, Hiro's Acre, commemorating independence, even the recently finished presidential palace, all built by the North Korean state in their trademark totalitarian style. But the contracts aren't just artistic. Outside the capital, it's just scrubland. You'd never know what you were looking for. Inside this Namibian military base, the UN investigators say that there's a North Korean munitions factory. A violation of sanctions in place for nearly a decade and a sensitive topic for a major recipient of American aid. Starting last year, we have started sending them out. The deputy prime minister says the relationship is now over and that they have given regular reports to the UN investigation team. The activities that has been taking place in Namibia in which the Koreans have been involved could not really be considered to be generating such a heavy amount of money to fuel the nuclear development in North Korea. But the lead UN investigator disagrees. He says they haven't received those reports for more than a year. Is this money insignificant for North Korea? This money is highly significant. We're looking at at least 14 African member states where Mansude alone was running quite large construction operations, building everything from ammunition factories to presidential palaces, to apartment blocks. The panel is investigating scores of African countries for their contracts with North Korea's Mansure and its military. Has Namibia been cleared by the UN panel? No, it's not been cleared by the UN panel. It's not enough to say you've been exonerated by the UN for uh, North Korean sanctions violations, because that's, that's not true. Uh, the panel deals with hard facts, with evidence, and, and this is what we've been asking for Namibia for many months now. In Namibia, the pressure seems to be having an effect. The North Korean building site of the new defense ministry has ground to a halt for now. Its dealings with North Korea have become a thorny issue. David McKenzie, CNN Vintok, Namibia.